Today, I'm gonna to be giving you guys an in-depth look at the DJ Khaled Air Jordan 5s. We're gonna be breaking down the styles, cuts, materials, all the fancy details along these shoes. And at the end of the video, I'll let you guys know which sneakers are gonna be releasing to the public and which one of these are gonna be friends and family only. So if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. Hey! On this channel, I love talking about sneakers, especially giving you guys in-depth looks at rare sneakers like this. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there so with all that being said we're gonna start one by one working our way from left to right and I'm gonna show you guys the in-depths of the box first and then we'll go talk about every single shoe so when it comes to the box this is gonna be a plastic covering shroud like we seen on the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 or the Ah Mom and Ye Air Jordan 3s something like that so basically you're gonna have a plastic shroud that goes on right here and on this shroud it has keep going we the best Jumpman logos little zigzag kind of vibes right here you got more Jumpman logos with the different Jumpman here in the circle and I know this has been something that we have seen trending over the past year with the collaboration so I'm not mad at this addition and it's definitely a dope look when it comes to adding this to the box and overall having it in the display when it comes to having these in your collection now when it comes to the actual sneaker box right here you have your classic Air Jordan 5 box but this has a lot of cool details on it that's a little bit different than your natural Air Jordan 5 box. So starting with the Jumpman right here, you have a gradient right here giving you that more of a sunset vibe when it comes to the Air Jordan Jumpman. You got an all black lid. On the back end of the box, it says, we the best. And then on the front end of the box, it has the Nike Air right here. And then on this back side, you got all black. And as you lift the lid up over here, you can actually see there's a gradient on the box all the way throughout the entire base of the box. You got your cement print with the black speckled all over. And then you got that same kind of yellow fading to the oranges, to the pinks, to the purples throughout the bottom of the box, just like we saw on the lid um, right here on the Jumpman. Now on the inside of the lid, you have a glossy finish and you have that same gradient with the purple fading to pink all the way to yellow right here on the inside the opposite side of the box then you got your standard white paper and now let's talk about the shoes oh we got the shoes so now that you guys have seen what the box looks like and all the details on it that's gonna be the same thing for each and every shoe but before we start talking about the actual model and all the details and the materials we got to talk about the history first so for those that don't know DJ Khaled is a Miami based producer has been known for making a bunch of classic songs and collaborations with the major artists over the years and recently we saw his collaborations with Jordan Brand over the past I'd say five years especially and his collection has grown he's become more of a sneakerhead in the game and definitely making his stamp on the shoe game especially when it comes to the Air Jordan 3 we saw different iterations of the we the best Air Jordan 3s that was a limited drop that didn't come out to the public and never released and luckily this time we're gonna have the opportunity to purchase different colorways from the video that I'm showing you today I've also done in-depth reviews of the we the best Air Jordan 3s on the channel before I got rid of them so I no longer have them in my collection but the review is still up on the channel if you ever want to go check that out I'll make sure I have the link for you guys down below in the description so with all that being said let's go ahead and talk about these shoes because there are a lot of cool details and the materials on these things are a1 so based off of the box this is the sail wash yellow violet colorway and honestly I am not mad at this colorway at all so like typical fashion we're gonna start with the bottom of the shoe and work our way up so looking at the bottom right here on the right foot you have your translucent paws in that kind of icy blue sole with your Nike branding on the center of the foot and then your violet on the toe with the rubber hit here. Now just behind the translucent pod on the ball of the foot you have the We The Best and then on the other foot you have the Jumpman logo as well. So I think it's pretty dope seeing that and it's also nice to see because when we go to the heel of the feet you have the We The Best on the right foot but then on the back end of the heel it has the Nike Air and then on the left foot you have the Jumpman and on the back end of the heel you have the We The Best. I've seen this done on different PEs before how they mix up the branding with the collaboration maybe on the insole or the heel tab or the heel tab with the outsole or something like that so that's something that is pretty common when it comes to different collaborations like that showing the different branding on the two shoes and mixing it up I like that little touch and honestly the we the best on here with that gold yellow stitch it looks really good now going to the midsole you got your matte violet color right here with the black on the back end you got that sky blue color with the yellow speckle on the shark teeth and then you got more of a translucent sail color toe cap right here on the rubber now going to the upper honestly the material on this shoe and all these shoes because it's essentially the same when it comes to materials these are really really nice so this whole upper is covered in a sail leather you have a sail tongue with the sail laces and then you have a clear translucent bib and then a yellow jump man on there 
On the tongue, uh, one thing that I really like about the tongue on this shoe as well, the Jordan 5 is very puffy. And when they did the tongue on here, it's a lot more uh, thin. It, do it doesn't have as much padding. And I think it makes it a lot easier to actually wear the sneaker and it look more functional on foot. So I think that element of them taking some of that padding out is definitely gonna make the shoe look a lot better on foot when you're rocking the shoe. Another thing to mention about the tongue as well, you have your classic Air Jordan 5 tongue with the 3M. You got a black Jumpman right here stitched on both sides. And then on the back end it says keep and then it says going on the other foot. And then you have similar to the Ama 3s or the Dornbecker 6s or something like that. And that's gonna be in that same baby blue color that we saw on the shark teeth on the front end of the foot as well. Now going to the insole, you're gonna have that washed yellow with the Nike Air on the right foot. And then you have the We The Best on the left foot. So like I was talking about earlier, remember how I said the insole sometimes match with the back end of the foot and then the outsole will be different, different things like that. So you got the We The Best with the We The Best and then the Nike Air and the Nike Air. Overall, this shoe is extremely fire. I wanna go into more depth with it. Hopefully those detail shots were great for you guys. These also come with a pair of black, violet, and yellow laces. So you got four sets of laces and the sneakers, a dope box, dope shroud, everything like that. And honestly, this is giving me a really premium vibe. Now, we have three other shoes to go over. So I'm gonna go over those a little bit quicker since now that you have a better understanding. And then I'm gonna also show you some of the differences, not only with coloring, but slightly changes of materials that they used on these different models. So this next colorway is the Crimson Bliss Blue Sail. Now, as you can see right here, you have a white pod and more of a milky translucent outsole. We the best, and then you got that Bliss color on the toe end right here and more of a translucent than a solid violet like we saw on the last pair. Now going up to the midsoles, you have the Sail with the white air unit, the black hit around the back end on the heel. You got your baby blue with a black splatter this time. And then on the upper, very, very nice materials. The same as the other thing, but just in a different color. And honestly, man, it's so crazy because they did a really good job when it comes to overall materials and execution on these sneakers. Now looking at the heel of these two shoes, you got the same thing, Nike Air on the right foot, We The Best on the left foot. You got your Jumpman branding on the 3M tongue right here, very similar, matching laces with the upper. The bib is gonna be the same color with the baby blue Jumpman. And then on the sock liner and the back end of the tongue, same thing, keep going on the back end. You got the quilted sock liner, and then on the insoles, you got a baby blue insole with the Nike Air, and then a baby blue insole with the We The Best. These come with a pair of, you got the crimson laces already, then you have the black laces, the blue laces, and the sail laces to go along with these. Another thing that I didn't mention when I was talking about the first pair that I wanted to show you guys, because this is the same on all the shoes, they kind of added a leather patch right here around the ankle area on both sides. Now, you know typically on the Air Jordan 5, there's a bubble that kind of sticks out right here, and this actually made it more of a slim look and kind of made the shoe more sleek. And it, honestly, I know it's not the same materials as the off-white Air Jordan 5, but if you all remember, the Air Jordan 5 doesn't really have those bubbles on the sides, and it makes it look a lot more slim and sleek. So I think that addition with the additional piece of leather on the upper as well, giving it that nice touch and slimming the shoe down, again, I feel like it's gonna make the functionality of this shoe look a lot better, wear a lot better, and overall just be something that a lot of people don't even realize that makes them naturally gravitate to liking the shoe a little bit more. All right, next up, we have the Polar Bleach Coral colorway, and on the bottom of the outsoles, you got your white hit with the Nike, the translucent milky outsole, we the best. And then on the front end of the toe, you have that translucent bleach coral as well. Now going up to the midsole, you have a sail colored midsole, white air unit, black hit, and then you have more of a bleach coral minty type color when it comes to the shark teeth with the black splatter. And then the upper, this blue, oh my gosh. The, again, the materials are really, really nice. Now another thing that I didn't mention when it comes to the first two shoes, they all have the same exact cut. But on the toe, this is gonna be that toe box like the classic OG 1990 Air Jordan 5 and we have been seeing that recently when it comes to the retros that have been coming out even with the green bean fives or the raging bull fives I know obviously on the fire red fives with the Nike Air it made sense because it was an OG colorway but I think it's cool that Jordan brand is keeping that OG cut when it comes to the retro Air Jordan fives that are currently coming out in this time now going to the back end on the heel you got that light pink Nike Air stitched right here and then on the left foot you got that we the best on the back end right there these come equipped with a pair of matching blue laces to go with the upper and then you have three additional laces black sail and that bleach coral as well
well. So like we saw in all the other pairs, you got four pairs of laces, which is dope so you can mix it up and give those different color patterns and styles with the black kind of go with the back end or that sail, giving it a little more pop, brighten it up the shoe. Honestly, it might look kind of interesting with this more of a bleach coral colorway on the laces as well. I think this shoe is honestly, it's, it's, I don't know. Originally, I was like, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm gonna give you guys my opinions later in the end of the video as well because we got fire and trash. I did the polls to see what everybody else thinks, which I'm gonna show you guys all those results. So we'll cap that off in a second because we still gotta get to this purple pair. Let's finish up this shoe real quick. So basically on the back end right here, you got the same thing. Keep going embroidered on the back of the tongues. You got that same plush, very nice stitched sock liner with that light blue bleach coral colorway. And then on the insoles, you got that same color as well with the We The Best on the left foot and the Nike Air on the right foot. So again, when it comes to overall craftsmanship, details, materials, everything like that, they did really, really well on all of these colorways so far. Now it's time to talk about my favorite pair of them all, and that is the Court Purple Washed Yellow colorway right here. You got the white on the Nike on the center of the foot, your milky translucent outsoles, your We The Best, and then your translucent purple on the front end on the toe. Going to the midsole, you got the sail colored right here with the black just above it. This is more of a light purple, kind of a violet color and then the black splatter on the shark teeth you got a white air unit and then you got that yellow on the nike air on the right foot and the yellow on the we the best on the left foot these come with a pair of matching purple laces and an additional pair of violet laces black laces and cell laces so essentially all the shoes have black and cell that come additional a matching pair and then that accent color that may be on the shark teeth or the sock liner or something like that when it comes to each one of the models now when it comes to the tongue of this pair in particular this is a black or a dark or whatever you want to call it a charcoal 3m tongue compared to the other ones had the standard more of a silver style 3m tongue classic to the normal air jordan 5 so i think that switch up and giving it more of that darker element especially with it going with the back end and that black hit around the heel right here definitely a nice touch on this shoe and i think they were definitely thinking when it comes to the overall color pattern of this sneaker now besides that you have a violet jump man on the front end of the tongue and then you have a violet sock liner same thing with the plus stitching the keep going on the back end of the tongues and then the same thing nike air on the right foot we the best on the left foot so after taking a look at all four of these sneakers in depth getting the detailed shots and everything about the shoes let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section i'm interested to see you guys' opinion about all these sneakers before i tell you guys which ones are actually coming out to the public and which ones are actually going to be friends and family only and are going to be really hard to get your hands on now as you guys all know i love the purple pair and if i could only pick one it would be the purple pair i typically naturally just gravitate towards those but if i couldn't pick the purple pair i would probably go with this sail pair i think this pair looks really really clean the light violet on the midsole and everything like that very very nice touches when it comes to these this is probably potentially my least favorite i don't know i don't know why but i feel like these might be my least favorite and then these are just like you know a solid third place or something like that we'll just put these in a solid third place but that's kind of my opinions when it comes to those now i'm interested to see what everybody else was thinking i posted a poll on my instagram story to ask the people if they thought the shoe was fire or trash so if you haven't already Follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. This is what the people said when it comes to the sale colorway. 75% of the people chose fire and 25% of the people chose trash. And honestly, it makes complete sense. I get it. Not everybody's going to love every single shoe, but at the end of the day, I know the majority of the people are definitely going to like this sneaker. Now, when it comes to the Crimson Bliss colorway, a little bit different on the results. 57% to 43% saying trash. That's very close to a 50-50. And honestly, like I said, it wasn't my favorite when it comes to the list. So that also makes sense in my eyes. Now on the Polar Bleach Coral colorway, we have the same thing as the first, 75% and 25% saying trash. And again, I really like this colorway, but it's just not my favorite. So it does make sense as well. And I think a lot more people would naturally gravitate to actually wearing this sneaker. Now onto the Court Purple Wash Yellow colorway, you got 77% saying fire and 20 23% of the people saying trash and that is going to be the highest rated one so essentially that tells me everybody loves the purple one the most just like I do so at the end of the day when it comes to this entire set I think it would definitely be dope to put the whole thing together if you could if not 
definitely go after the ones that you could get. And I'm interested to see what the resale is gonna be on these sneakers, especially based off of the ones that are coming out to the public and the ones that are gonna be released only to friends and family. Well, I guess not released, but given to friends and family. So with that being said, I'm sure the answer that you guys are all waiting for because everybody wants to know which shoes are coming out to the public and which shoes are gonna be friends and family. I'm gonna break it down one by one for you guys. This pair right here, the Cell colorway, this is going to be a general release, well not a general release, but this is going to be a inline release going to the public and you guys are gonna have your chance to get this sneaker for retail. Now, my guess on this shoe, the retail is gonna be somewhere around 250 bucks. I don't know exactly what the retail is, but I'm sure we'll have more news and updates as the time goes and I'll make sure I update you guys as well because I want everybody to have a good chance of getting the sneakers that they want. Now, when it comes to the Crimson Bliss colorway, this shoe is also going to be a inline release which means it is going to release to the public and you're gonna have a chance to get this shoe for retail now on the polar bleach colorway this one is gonna potentially hurt a lot of people's feelings but these are only gonna be a friends and family shoe so that means these are gonna be seated to friends and family and these are gonna be the only people that are gonna have a chance to get this shoe you're not gonna have really an opportunity to buy it unless you were to maybe in the resale market or something like that but when it comes to actually purchasing this shoe for retail you're not gonna probably have a chance to get these now now on to the last and final one, the Court Purple Air Jordan 5, the big headed monster, the one that I love the most. Ah, I'm sorry to tell you guys, but this is a friends and family only, and this is not releasing to the public, which means nobody's gonna have a chance to get this shoe for retail, and you're probably gonna end up having to spend thousands of dollars to get this shoe in your collection if you wanted to have these. So hopefully that gave you guys a good look at all the sneakers and information on which ones are gonna actually be coming out to the public and which ones you're gonna have to be pulling some strings for to get your hands on if you wanted to add other ones like this to your collection me personally i think it's super dope to complete the entire set these are all not mine so i don't even have them in my collection yet i'm just giving you guys the review and i'm thankful for the opportunity to do something like this and i hope to do more things like this for you guys in the future and this pair right here i need these in my collection so y'all that's watching the video you know who you are just know i need a size 13 hook your boy up that's all i'm saying but anyways besides from that i do appreciate you guys as always and do these dope reviews for you guys giving you these in-depth looks at these sneakers like this shout out to jordan brand for always coming with that fire appreciate you guys as always i'll see you in another one i'm out peace <laughs> Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, now knowing what shoes you can get for retail, if you could only pick one of these two, which one would it be? Me, I'm rocking with the sale. I have heard people say they like these ones more, so I'm interested to see what people think if you can only pick one of these two.